Hey y'all, let's take a look at volume, and I just want to make sure there's an understanding of volume, uh, of, uh, you know, of what the actual what we're talking about here. Previously, we've talked about one dimension, like length, like you know, uh, ten inches, and then we've talked about an area. In other words, this is one dimension. That's ten inches. Then we talked about area, and we went, okay, well that's going to be another ten inches. That's going to be two uh, dimensions. That's that's a that's you know a ten times ten. That's a hundred square inches and the two meant that there were two dimensions. Volume is something like this, like this cube, where you say, okay, well there's 10, 10 inches wide, 10 inches long, and also that's 10 inches high. That's three dimensions. If you do this and it's the uh, volume of this, really what you're saying is, um, you're saying that you have a 100 square inches right here. And you, it's like a layer cake, if you've ever eaten a layer cake. Um, these are basically, it's, this is basically telling you that there are 10 layers. In other words, the question on volume, now it's a nice straight line, yeesh, okay. That's, in other words, we're, we're saying, you know, here is uh, a cube that goes, you know, fits into this thing, one cube. And we can say on one of this, this top layer, 100 cubes are going to fit into that top layer, correct? Because there's 10 this way, and then there's 10 that way. That gives us 100 cubes. What we're also saying now is that there are 10 layers of that, right? I'm not going to be able to draw 10 on here, but you know what I'm saying. There, there should be 10 layers. So that tells us if each one of those is 100 cubes, then since there are 10 of those, a 10 times 100 is 1,000. And we would say that is 1,000, not a, not a 1, not a 2, but a 3 cubic inches. That means there are a thousand cubes that will fit into that 3D figure. That's what volume is. And the volume of it right solid, you need to write this down and memorize it and put a little star on it and a little happy face of joy that it'll bring you year in and year out. This is assuming you don't have much hair, okay? And you only have one ear and two noses. That you need to memorize. The volume of a right solid is the area of the base times the height. Well, we've proved that a second ago, right? If the area of the base is 100, which it is, I mean, that's the area, right? There are 100 squares on this flat surface. But we had to multiply it by the number, uh, well, the height of this, which means there are 10 layers of this, which means each one of those layers has 100 cubes that fill it up. There are 10 layers. Boom, you got it. Now, really quick question. You know how to find the area of a rectangle, right? Length times the width. You know how to find the area of a triangle, right? You take half of the base times the height. You know the formula to find the area of a circle, right? Area is equal to pi times the radius squared, right? That's all you need to know. We're, we're good. Once you know the area of the base and you know the height, you know the volume. In other words, you know how many cubes fit into that hunk of junk, whatever it is. Okay. All right. So let's do this rectangular solid. Um, I don't know. Let's make up some numbers here. How about 20? And then how about, let's say, 10 there and let's say 8 or whatever. Okay. All you need to do is you need to find the area of the base. Well, this is a base, of course, right there, the top or the bottom. The area of the base is going to be 10 times 8. That's going to be 80, right? All right. The height is 20. You just multiply 80 times 20. 8 times 2 is 16. 1, 0, 2 zeros will give you 2 zeros here. And so let's say it's inches. That'll be 1,600 cubic inches. Each one of these layers will have 80 cubes that fit on it. It means we have 20 layers of 80 cubes gives us 1,600 cubes. That's the volume of that. All right, here's another one. This is a right prism. It is five inches. In other words, it's five inches high right there. This is a bird's eye view on the left. This is what it looks like as a 3D uh, object. The volume of the prism, piece of cake. Remember the formula. You find the area of the base. This time it's a triangle. Who cares? You know how to find the area of a triangle. Times the height, which is five. All right, well, look at this triangle. It has a base of four, and it has a height of eight. In other words, this is what it looks like here. There's a four there, and it's, you know, eight from here all the way to there. Well, that means that the area of the triangle is going to be 4 times 8 and all that divided by 2, which is going to be 16. So the area of this triangle is 16 right there. 
Well, then all we need to do is go, okay, well, you know, just think about this. If the triangle, uh, you know, looked like that, the volume, in other words, you'd be able to fit 16 cubes into that one layer. We don't have one layer. We have five layers. They tell us the height is five. That means we have five 16s. So five times 16 is 80. Boom, there's your volume. All right, and then there's another one. Well, the height of this thing is six centimeters. Good, I'm gonna write six. That's, you know, that's what we're gonna to have to multiply this by. That's how many layers we have of the cubes that fit into it. Find the volume. All we need to do is find the area of this chunk right there. Well, remember what we do with these. We break them into two pieces. This is a four times six, that gives us 24. This is, ooh, that's not 10. The area that, uh, the base of the triangle from here to here will be four off from 10, which gives us six. And we know this also six is the height of the triangle. So six times, you know, let's forget six times six is six times three, because it's half. That's 18. This part's 24. Together that's 42, which means, you know, if you were counting cubes, 42 cubes would fit into one layer of this thing. They ain't no one layer. There's six layers, okay? I shouldn't say they ain't no layer. There isn't no layer. 42 times 6 is 252. That's how many cubes will fit into this thing. So it's centimeters cubed. That's why we use three dimensions. All right, there's a more interesting one here. Okay, but it, it's okay. You know how to find rectangle, uh, you know, uh, excuse me, rectangle area. You know how to find triangle area. You also know how to find the area, uh, area of a circle. We're just going to do half a circle this time. We'll cut it in half. But the height is eight. So we know we're going to be multiplying all this by eight, eight layers. All we need to do is find out the area of the base. Well, we know this part, right? Six times five is 30. Done. Now we need to do, to do is find the area of this half of a circle. Don't forget the area of a circle is pi, we'll just call it 3.14, times the radius squared. The radius squared, three squared is nine. And we will, you know, we're gonna divide this all by two because we're only going to figure the area of half of a circle. We're not worrying about the bottom this time. We're not finding surface area, we're finding volume. So all we need is this entire area, we multiply it by eight, that's all we need. We've got the 30, we'll put this over here somewhere, all right, 3.14 times 9 divided by 2. Well, if you did all the arithmetic, you get 28.26. Then you divide by 2, and that would give you 14.13. You'd add that together, 44.13. Then you would multiply by 8. Remember, because you're if you just put 44.13, that means that's how many cubes will fit in one layer. You want eight layers. So you're multiplying by 8. Boom, there you go. That's going to be 353.04. And that will be, what is that, feet? So that will be cubic feet with a three. There you go. Okay, here's another one. This is a right circular cylinder. You know, we're fine. Piece of cake. We got it. All we need to do is find, in fact, I think this is easier. You're just finding, again, it's the area of the base times the height. Do you know how to find the area of the base if the base is a circle? Yes, you do. You just go pi times the radius squared. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. We'll just say 3.14 for pi. <clears throat> and then the radius squared would be 6 squared, which is 36. There you go. And all that, of course, we're going to multiply by the height, which is 11. Boom. Now, I'm not going to even bother to do that. I mean, that's what we can call it. We, you guys can do that. That's all we need to do. Okay, let's look at this one. Now, this is kind of funky looking. And this might be confusing. Oh, I don't know how to do these. I haven't done this shape, you know. And, you know, it looks like a, I don't know, what does it look like? Like a piranha or something? There you go. And let's see, this is a very old looking piranha. So he has a cane to help him walk. He doesn't have as many teeth. Let's say he has just gums on the bottom. No, he has dentures here. We got dentures there. And they're really shiny too. He's, a, he's an angry piranha. Uh, that's too much, isn't it? I don't know. Why do you guys do this to me? You get me all distracted. Okay, anyway. The height of this thing is 20. There we go. The, vi the, the volume? Oh, wait a minute. It's the area of the base times the height. We know the 20, but they... Oh, wait a minute. They give you the area of the base. It's 52 square feet. Well, good. All we need to do is just multiply those two things together. 52 times 20. Well, what's 52 times 2? 
104. Add a zero, you're done. 10, uh, 1,040 cubic centimeters, boom. That's all we need to do. And the product's happy. Okay, we have three of these. So go ahead and pause it and try A and come back. All right, this is 10 inches high. All we need to do is find the area of the base. So four times 10, this part's 40. Then we have the area of a circle is pi, 3.14, times the radius squared. Well, two squared is four. And we're gonna have to do that, divide that by two, right? Because it's just a half a circle. Well, <clears throat> you don't have to do this and do that. Just four divided by two is two. So just go 3.14 times two. That's gonna be 6.28. Well, 40 plus 6.28 is 46.28, right? And multiply that by 10, that's the height. That gives you 462.8, and that is cubic inches. Okay, pause it and try B. Well, this doesn't look right. What in the world? Here's the, here's the key. I mean, if I were you, kids in my classes I've seen doing this, they physically take their math book and they go and turn it 90 degrees so they can kind of look at that thing so it looks more like this like a cylinder not lying on its side, but you know, standing straight up. Well, there's a cylinder if you do it like that, it's 20 units high. That's the magic number we need to multiply this by. But we still need to figure out, you know, we're gonna find out how many cubes fit into one layer of this thing to multiply by 20. Well, you know, the area of the circle with pi times the radius squared, uh, you can just put pi times the radius squared, that's gonna be 36. Well, 36 times pi, you know, just FYI, you can do the arithmetic if you want and go three, 36 times 3.14 and get 113.04 and then multiply that by 20. That's fine. Or you can, what you can do is you can just say 36 pi times 20. Well, 36 times 20 is 720. So this can be, a, this is a legit answer right there. You can leave it like that. Or you can just go ahead and say 113.04 times 20. And you can go, okay, two, two, six, you know, zero and an A, and it's going to be 2,260.8 approximately, and that'll be cubic whatevers is the unit. So, all right, go ahead and try C. Oh, that was easy. They give you the, you know, the area of that base is 50. So you just go 50 times 12 is 600. So it's going to be 600 cubic centimeters, and that is the whole thing. So anyway, all right. You guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you write that formula down. The, the uh, volume of a circuit, a cylinder is the area of the base times the height. Make sure you know that. Keep at it. All right. See you guys next time. Have a great day.